In this lesson, I will show you how to open objects from the command line and to integrate your terminal and finder. I will start my terminal up by clicking on my terminal settings here. You don't have to do it that way. I'm not going to go into full screen because I want to show you some of these items in the finder. So I will simply resize my terminal window to be about that much of my screen. What I need now is a text file to manipulate as an example. So to create that, I will use the ls command, ls-1, and then we all have desktop pictures inside of library desktop pictures. I will send that into a file with the greater than redirection symbol, and I will put that file on my desktop and simply call it ls.txt. Here's the file. Now I also want to be operating on that file easily, so I will change directory into the desktop. And I will now demonstrate for you a command called open. Open is the terminal way of double clicking on an item. Open, and then give it a name of an item, like ls.txt. And notice that TextEdit has opened up with a copy of our ls.txt file. Also notice this is in plain format. It realized from the .txt extension that this was a plain text document, not a rich text document. Now I will close that. Another way to accomplish the same thing would be to use open -a capital A tab for applications, capital T E tab, and that should type out text edit unless you have something else installed that is a similar name. And then give it the name of ls.txt again, and it opens up the ls.txt file just like it did with the first command. So let's close that with command W and quit out of text edit with command Q. Another way to do the exact same thing but with a different open command is open dash E and then the name of the file. And again, let's close it with command W, quit out of text edit with command T. And lastly, we can also use something called the bundle identifier. So open dash B and then com dot apple dot text edit and then ls dot text and it opens up again. So where did I get all these commands and operations from? Well, let me push the ls text to the side here and resize it so that it's a little bit neater. There is, as most Unix experts know, manual pages on most commands. And open command is no exception, so type man space open, and you can scroll through the parameters that are available here, and you can see that the dash e that we used recently causes the file to be opened with applications text edit. The dash T is slightly different. It will use whatever is the default text editor as defined in launch services. F reads the input from the standard input and opens it in the default text editor. More about that later. This would be very useful for scripting. Another one that's useful for scripting, the dash W option. It will wait until the application that was opened quits. Now you might think this is all good and well, but what use is this? You could use editors inside of the command line to do all of this as well. Well, you're not limited to just text editing. We can also manipulate other types of files. Remember the open command is a lot like just double clicking on something. So let me create a different type of file and we will use this to also create something that will be useful for your documentation purposes. So use the man command again with the dash T option, then open for the command that we're going to look up, and then redirect that into something like open.ps. The PS on the end is important because that's how our open command will know what to do with it when we then type open, and use the open.ps. Now watch this, you can also just drag and drop an icon in and it will fully type out for you the correct path name. 
press return, and you will notice a new application opening up. In my case, it's preview. It probably is preview for you as well, unless you have something different configured in Launch Services. And now we have a very pretty print of the man page. And let me just zoom in on it a little bit. And we can take one of those options that we want to remember, and we can highlight it and click on the highlighter and even the little parameters that we're going to use as well. Now, when I save that, if I were to save it, that highlighted section will remain. So I will call this open.pdf, and I'll put it on the desktop, and save. Now I can close out of that, and there is our newly created PDF. Back to our original idea, which was to get a list of the library desktop pictures folder and open it up inside of something like TextEdit. Let's close out of that file and quit out of TextEdit and do this in all one step from the command line. ls-1 and then slash library desktop pictures and then we want to pipeline, so that's the vertical bar symbol, that into open. And remember I said the dash F would be useful later. Put in the dash F, press return. And in all one step, we have opened up that list of files inside of a text edit document. Now notice the name is a little funky, but we can change that easily enough. One last thing before we go on to the next lesson. And that is we are not limited to files. We can also open things like URLs. If we use the open command with HTTP colon slash slash and a website like www.tarneyinc.com, that will open up the URL in your default web browser.